Hello, I am Ice Beast, and welcome back to Distant Worlds Universe. So the first thing I'm going to say is I think we're pretty close to being able to launch our attack if we would like to against the Keskadon. Now, in reality, what I should really be doing is launching my attack against the unwavering Drushok. Drushaka Combine if I wanted to win this game, but I really don't care that much about winning I actually care more about just having a good time and right now my uh, Like my principal rival is still These guys, so I think we're gonna launch an assault against them as soon as our fleets are uh, Basically ready to go. I think we're waiting for the unstable vortexes Yes, the unstable vortices, even though it says vortexes, I guess it would be vortex, could be vortexes, um, which will give us a major upgrade to the X Thunderbolt torpedo, which I believe is what everybody is currently using in my fleets. Is that correct? All fleets using the uh, X Thunderbolt torpedo? It's been a little bit since I last played. Um, yes, we are. I did notice, though, when coming back, that I had a bunch of pirates, so I have attacked, I'm attacking multiple of their bases. Um, we are winning there. We did not launch here yet because we have no troops. We are dominating there. And I haven't launched here yet because I wanted to have enough troops to be confident that we would win this. And then it will be time to, to assault. I think Karun will be the planet we'll want to go after. There is a fleet here which may actually suggest a good place to attack. There's a defensive battery as well with 1920 firepower. This ship has 3000 firepower, which makes it very strong. Okay, so we just eliminated the Vulpeter League on a different planet. Sure, go colonize it. Now what I want to look at is... What do we need? We need to control one more continental colony. A couple more desert colonies will put us in the right place. We need to control just more colonies, bigger economy, bigger population. So we basically just have to take stuff over. And that's what we're going to do. Now, if I wanted to win again, the actually easiest thing to do would be to take over all these little empires right near me to grab their territories rather than going to war with somebody massive like these guys. But we're going to do it the hard way. All right, so that gave us unstable vortices, which should allow me to go to subspace torpedoes, which is a massive increase in potential uh, damage. And I don't think there's any penalty now for us going to subspace torpedoes. Did I get um, special forces? I did, and I should build a special forces uh, look thing somewhere at some point. After we get the uh, subspace torpedo, is there any reason to go to the Tachyon Torpedo? Oh, the Tachyon Torpedo gets stronger as it fires. That's really... as it go, it's The further it goes. Interesting. It's actually better in that sense. And, and it has a much higher fire rate. Yeah, I think we'll go for that at some point. But we do want to continue our progress on area weapons. So we'll do that. But anyway, let's get... Oh, we have so much money. I didn't even see how much money we have. Uh, let's crash that... We can also crash this. That will get us both of these upgrades, which will be nice. So the third fleet and the first fleet are both here. Regan has been colonized. All right, so let's look at, at Khartoum here. Khartoum is a desert world, which is what we want. And it has almost no defensive capabilities, except for it does have a planetary shield and a defensive bunker. All right. Uh, let us find our home world. You, my friend, we are going to build a military academy. That's what I want. So we're going to build a military academy there, which will allow us to get the... I don't know why our bonus income is so high, but I'm not complaining about it. It's just ridiculous. I've never had it be that good. I'm going to actually spend to rush the, the thing. So we have so much money. And you're, I, I mean, some people watching this are going to be like, you have so much money. What are you talking about? I speak in some of your games, you have like 10 million credits. And I'm like, yeah, and I, I kind of hoard it too much. So I'm trying to spend it, spend enough to make it worthwhile. All right, cool. So we can build, we should get some special forces. And then we should get some more tanks. Then we get more of these guys. And then troop fleet, 
should come here. We should also make sure that our troop ships are uh, at their like best size. Let me edit this just to make sure you didn't put anything stupid on it, like weapons. Nope, we're good. So they'll come here and, and refuel and, and retrofit. And then we'll pick up the special forces because we're going to need those to help take some of these planets. But the third fleet is going to be the vanguard that la launches our assault. On our enemies. So we just got the improvement to the Equinox Jump Drive. So you should have... Just want to make sure here. Equinox Jump Drive. Sort by name. Phoenix Jump Drive. 3,800 is now... And it takes 150 energy to jump. You have plenty of energy. So let's just confirm. Let me... Uh, where is this ship? So this is a third fleet ship. It's sitting... It should be right here somewhere. So if I, if I click here, you should move off. There we go. 4,100, 8,000. Excellent. That is what we want to see. That Being able to move good distances is something that will give us a competitive advantage. Because it will allow us to intercept enemy fleets when the time comes. How fast are these guys going? 3,800. So we're at the same, the same basic speed. You're getting quantum uh, micro-utilization so we can get you to fusion balance. Yeah, the fu upgraded fusion reactor is really good. Unfortunately, you have to get a whole new drive to get the ultra-efficient drive. Oh, I might have made sense to go down and just try to get the torrent drive. And then go from the torrent drive on, because the torrent drive... Holy shit, do you move fast if you get down here. Yeah, we should get down into the torrent, the advanced hyperdrives at some point. We'll do that in the future, though. We're not in a rush. Um, we can crash that as well. We have plenty of money. You're going to give me a bunch of mining stations in exchange for trade sanctions. Okay, I'll do it. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to come here. Who did I just put trade sanctions on? These guys. Let me speak with you. Um, change relationship. Wait, go, go, no. Speak with you. Negotiate stuff. I will lift our trade sanctions against you. And sure, I'll give you this. Sweet. A little bit of a, of a negative for us, but whatever. You guys are at war with each other, right? Yes, they're currently at war with each other, which is also good for us. So am I waiting for anything, or are we ready to go? I think... Oh, we're waiting for troops. That's what we're waiting for. Uh, retrofit to latest design here. How are these troops going? Some of them are finished. What? What's this? I don't know what's happening there. And I have an intelligence agent defending against uh, missions, which is good. We need that. We have a troop general on our troop fleet. We do. Beautiful. Once you finish retrofitting, if you guys could do that, please. 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 All right. Can you... Uh, Load troops at Higara. Let's see how many troops we get. We do have a decent amount of armor already on board. So 29 troops with 11 special forces is going to be enough to take at least a Karum here. So let's, troop fleet, let's get you into position. What I want to do is use what I like to call the uh, the snipe strategy, and and by I like to call, I mean a lot of people like to call it the snipe strategy. Ah, oh, that's too bad. We're not going to be able to get um what we want here. Somebody else is in this star system. God, look how much nicer it is when ships can actually move quickly. So good. Um, the unwavering. 
No, we'll keep this information to ourselves. What did we just finish? We just got uh, improved targeting. We want to get super targeting. Yes, especially the targeting system. How much money do we have? God damn, how do we make so much damn money? I'm not complaining about it. It's just ridiculous. Unfortunately, the super targeting system is a different system, so we'll have to retrofit our ships uh, to make use of it. All right, so the third fleet now. Holy shit, there's a lot of ships here. Let's uh, have the troop fleet just chill on the corner of their territory. Oh, we already got here. Yeah, get out of here, troop fleet. Oh no, we're taking we're taking collateral damage. We lost a ship. No, it actually warped off. Our troop fleet made it off. Beautiful. You're only mostly dead. So what we need to do is wait for this engagement to end. And then once it is ended, we'll be in a position to actually potentially attack this planet. Although it looks like... Holy shit, a buttload of Keskadon enslavers showed up since I last checked this out. I want this planet, so we're going to have to wait. But we're going to need a much, much bigger assault force. So, you return... Move back to Higara, where you'll make uh, repairs. Uh, you may also pick people up. Did I actually make sure? You know, you're. I didn't realize how ridiculous, um, how ridiculously powerful that was. Let's build some dudes here as well. We'll probably have to start building dudes at other places. How big is Ixidin, by the way? Seven million. You've maxed out at seven. Seven dudes. Let's uh, let's build some people on the ground just to make sure that we're in the right the right numbers. But that's not what we're gonna need. So they held on. Look at this ridiculous defense. This ridiculous ground force here. This war is a thing that is fantastic. Hell yeah! <laughs> they gave me 5 million credits as part of that. <laughs> so that I will engage trade sanctions against these guys, which then I can immediately negotiate to lift. I'm not complaining about that deal at all. Um, we've already crashed like everything, right? I guess we can crash this. We have so much money. We're definitely at risk of a financial collapse. Uh, what do I mean by that? That is that that can happen sometimes. Jesus Christ! What's with all these goddamn pirates? Um, that can happen sometimes when when you get way too much money. That is what I'm trying to say and failing at saying it. All right. So repair and refuel at nearest shipyard. We have to get a buttload of ground forces to take this planet. Look at this engagement. This is ridiculous. Okay, so they just landed a useless number of, of troops. What did I just get? Um, quantum micro utilization. Let's get a uh, fusion balance. Actually, let's get fusion balance, then exponential shield effects. I can crash this bad boy. I have so much money, there's no reason not to crash any of this stuff. Oh, we also just got subspace torpedoes. If I auto upgrade you you become too big edit you yes you became too big do we need all of these we do need all of those so I'll fix that in a minute 
Subspace torpedoes. Hmm. Do we need all these thrusters? Do we need all of these... Fuel cells. If I get rid of a fuel cell... Okay. And then if I get rid of a thruster... Not sure that was a good idea, but okay. We still need to add a HAB module. Now, I guess... I guess the correct thing to do here is to get rid of one more torpedo. Um, and then potentially add back in... Eh, I think we're right at our border though. The, the max size is like 1323 or something like that. So we'll, we'll save this. Then we will uh, auto upgrade this design. We should be able to show all designs now, or latest buildable designs. Let's edit just to make sure this is good. We're good mathematically here. Wow, your firepower goes way up. These torpedoes are ridiculously good. No, auto upgrade this design. So I was about to go strike, but because we just upgraded and we still need to wait for our our build out, I think it's better to do what I'm doing right now. So let's save this. I've saved all of these, right? Yeah, well, I didn't check the destroy or the light cruiser's um energy needs. In fact, it has just enough energy that it still can't shoot while hyper jumping, but nobody can shoot while hyper jumping as far as I'm aware. Beautiful. All right. Uh, let me just confirm that our destroyer works too. It definitely works. It works like way overkill. I'm not going to upgrade it, though. We don't need to build any more destroyers. Destroyers are kind of useless. So the third fleet, which is going to be the vanguard of our assault on Karoom, needs to upgrade first. So what we're going to do is we're going to move the third fleet to the solar system, and then we'll have it retrofit there, while the first fleet, which is chilling here, can retrofit at near spaceport, and the second fleet, which is chilling here, can retrofit at near spaceport, and then the fourth fleet, which is chilling over here, can retrofit to near spaceport. And then we're in a pretty good situation. So yeah, god, they move so much faster. Um, made one minor mistake. <laughs> Technology is coming in so quickly now, it's a bit ridiculous. But what we should do is we should once again upgrade all our designs. All right, apologies, I sneezed there real briefly. Um, edited that out, hopefully, if I'm not an idiot. So you should have the uh, subspace targeting system. This is much more important than the counter targeting system for us. So I'm okay with this occurring. Let's just make sure everything's correct. Retrofit to latest design. Retrofit to latest design. Retrofit to latest design. And retrofit to latest design. So this will get everybody retrofitting correctly. Uh, the second fleet will be the fleet that will almost certainly retrofit first because it's at um, our best starbase. I should probably build another large starbase somewhere. Um, refuel, no, load troops at Higara. Yep, we're definitely going up in the power spectrum. Wasn't really paying attention to what those people were asking for. Keskadon are still number one militarily, military strength-wise, but we'll be changing that. Okay, so you have now 46 dudes. Let's have you go, uh... Load troops. No, come here. Move to Solist. Solist, by the way. We should garrison a little bit of this infantry. Why is this not doing what I'm expecting it to do? Okay, cool. So we're garrisoning some in in infantry once our, our retrofit's complete. So we will be going to strike next episode. I apologize that we got so close. But these upgrades were too good to pass up. Just way too good to pass up, I would say.
Oh, our chance to strike at Karun may may have arrived. They still have a buttload of ground forces. But yes, look at these firepower numbers as this goes up. This is ridiculous how strong we're becoming. And these are quality weapons. I just want to clarify that these are good weapons that we're building. Not... Uh, if they're not the super beam weapon, which is not a horrible weapon, it just can't hit the broadside of a damn barn. Um, but we're building some really high quality weapons, which is what's leading us to this ridiculous firepower number. We should be able to just basically one shot ships as they as they come into existence. We're gonna spend this money again. We have so much money. We're not making a bunch of money. But we don't need to be making a bunch of money right now. For whatever reason, our bonus income is still the bomb. It's the ba to the bomb, to bang to bang, diggy diggy. Diggy said the boogie, said up chuck the boogie. I literally have no idea if those are the right words. All right, so everybody but the fourth fleet has has retrofitted. So we are, we're gonna get into position. What? Um, we're gonna retake a colony real quick <laughs> and then we're going to get back into uh, uh, to get into position was I not paying attention and somebody actually completed the appropriate structures or we have so many troops we should be able to attack there should be able to attack there Sh cannot attack here there we go. We need some infantry battalions there. But yeah, we're going to have to come down here and take care of this first. We will get the third fleet into position, though. But I'm not happy that those dicks took my planet. So third fleet, you should be able to station yourself here. We're actually going to... Um, keep that information to ourselves. I'm not happy. What the hell did I just get? What did I just get? Oh, I just got uh, enhanced area weapons. That's what it was. Anyway, we're going to end the episode here. So thank you guys very much for watching. I apologize for being a little long. We're going to take care of this dick here. And then once taken care of, we'll then move to our to attack. But before then, why are you going so fucking slow? Why are you going so fucking slow? Anyways, we're going to end the episode here. So thank you guys very much for watching. Hope you've enjoyed it. And I'll see you all next time.